Board of Governors of St. Jude's Hospital is now in session. Sir Danvers Carew, KBE Chairman. His Grace, the Bishop of Basingstoke. General Lord Glossop. The Right Honourable Sir Archibald Bruce, QC. Lady Beaconsfield. Lord Savage. The order of business will be conducted by the Secretary to the Board of Governors, Mr. Simon Stride. Proposition number 929, presented by Dr. Henry Jekyll. Distinguished governors, I have glimpsed the future, seen miracles that stun the mind, and marvels only science can find. To shape tomorrow for mankind And I can show them to you If you wish me to Friends, you're aware there are two sides to each of us Good and evil, compassion and hate If we could extract all the evil from each of us Think of the world that we could create A world without anger or violence or strife Where man wouldn't kill anymore A world of compassion where passion for life Would banish the madness of war I'm close to finding the key to duality Chemical formulae which could and would Alter the patterns of man's personality Guiding him either to evil or good Weigh the potential, the great possibilities Colleagues, dear friends, understand We have a chance to make history Here in our hand Each of us is the embodiment of two distinct and opposing forces Good and evil Each fighting for supremacy inside us If we could separate these two forces we could control and ultimately eliminate all evil from mankind. My experiments with animals have led me to believe that the day is not far off when this separation will be possible. To achieve it, I must be allowed to try my formula on a living human being. And what if you're right, Jekyll? And you do manage to separate good from evil. What happens to the evil? There are doomed, broken souls in a thousand asylums. I defy you to say you don't care if you can. In the name of compassion and medical science, I can save many lives if you give me one man. I tell you now, the church will never sanction me. Sacrilege, lunacy, blasphemy, heresy. You seem to be treading on dangerous ground. In legal terms, I'd say extremely unsound. The whole thing's unchristian, barbaric, and not. You're playing with fire when you start to play God. The bishop speaks for all of us when he says you're playing God. There's such a thing as ethics over which you ride or shod. You're a doctor, not a savior, Dr. Jekyll for a start. But I judge from your behavior, you can't tell the two apart. Dear Mr. Stride, I am simply a scientist. I have a code to which I remain true. I don't presume to the stature of moralist. I leave pretension like that, sir, to you. Henry, I've always encouraged your enterprise, and I've been hopeful that you would succeed. But in the face of these powerful arguments, I see no choice but for you to concede. I know my fate is yours to choose, but if they win, the world will lose, and I am on the brink of great success. I beg you, governors, you must say yes. Dr. Jekyll, enough of this ranting, sir. This is a hospital here to save lives. Do you think we would let you play havoc with all the high principles for which it strives? Do you expect us to compromise all that we stand for, indulging your dangerous games? How many rules should we break for your dubious fame? 
Can't you see I am not playing games? Just give me the opportunity. This whole thing's too bizarre. Open up your eyes and see. This man has gone too far. Unless you listen to Dr. me. Damn it, man. Can't you see? You're on your own. justification for my experiments, gentlemen. You have just provided it. Just look at what has happened here. Mix anger with a touch of fear. The danger's all too crystal clear. Just look at you. Our darker side keeps breaking through. Observe it now in me and you. The evil that all men can do must be controlled. I beg of you. I'll show you all. It can be done. Here is a chance to take charge of our fate. Deep down you must know that tomorrow's too late. One rule of life we cannot rearrange. The only thing constant is change. The only thing constant is change. Distinguished colleague, your verdict, please. All those in favor, say aye. All those opposed, nay. Abstain. By five votes to none, with one abstention, Proposition 9 to 9 is rejected. Thank you for your time, Dr. Jekyll. I am truly sorry, Henry. All these precious years I've dedicated to this dream. Now with a word they claim the power to deny me. Who are they to judge what I am doing? They know nothing of the endless possibilities I see. It's ludicrous. I'm bound by their decision. Seems vision is a word they've never heard. If it mattered less, I treat it with derision. It's absurd. And yet the fact remains. Those bastards hold the reins. So sorry, Dr. Jekyll. What a really rotten shame. I so hope that what has happened won't destroy your precious name. Henry Jekyll, I despise you. You have stolen the girl who should be my wife. But there'll come a day, not so far away, when you'll not only pay, you will 